This is TOS Television, your digital force pan African news network. I am Abigail Okwade and this is Africa Now. Kenya is experiencing a shortage of condoms attributed to high taxes imposed on them, even though they are usually donor-funded. Earlier this year, a tax dispute between the government and donors who import anti-HIV drugs led to a shortage of the commodity. The health authorities in the East African countries have urged people to use other alternatives. Awarded the Nobel for making peace with neighboring Eritrea on whose border he fought while stationed in the Tigray region, Abe Ahmed on Monday in a dramatic new step vowed to lead his country's army from the battlefront beginning on Tuesday. Abe's comment comes as the year-long conflict between Ethiopia and allied forces and fighters from the country's northern Tigray region moves closer to the capital Addis Ababa. Claude Muhayimana, 60, a former hotel driver, went on trial in Paris on Monday, accused of complicity in Rwanda's 1994 genocide for transporting Hutu militiamen to sites where there were massacred hundreds of Tutsis. Muhayimana was arrested in France in 2014 after an investigation by Paris prosecutors specializing in crimes against humanity. Investigators say he also hid Tutsis at the risk of death, helped some escape, fled after the genocide, and gained French nationality in 2010. Seven suspects were killed and 106 people detained by Uganda Security Services during investigations to links of last week's Kampala 3 suicide bombings, police spokesperson Fred Enanga said in a statement posted on Facebook on Monday. Enanga said security raid on a location in central Uganda had found 22 young people who were security personnel. Suspects were being prepared for recruitment into the Allied Democratic Forces. Militia men killed at least 20 people, including children, during an attack on displaced civilians in the northeastern Ituri province of Democratic Republic of Congo on Sunday night, a military spokesperson disclosed. Jules Ngongo, a spokesperson for Ituri's military government, said the objective of the attack by fighters from the Cooperative for Development of the Congo Group was to attack the population that was displaced in Drodro. Kodeko, spokesperson Patrick Bassa, denied the group had killed civilians. This is your Digital First Pan-African News Network, TOS Television. You're watching Africa Now, business and more coming your way after the break. To stay tuned. Welcome back in business. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, on Monday said that Algeria economy is gradually recovering from COVID-19 and falls in global oil prices in 2020. After a contraction of 4.9% in 2020, Algeria's real GDP grew by 2.3% year-on-year in the first half of 2021, driven by a rebound hydrocarbon prices and production and the relaxation of containment measures, the IMF said. Sudan's reinstated Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok on Monday said that maintaining the economic gains from the past two years was among the reasons he had decided to return to his post under a deal with the military. The World Bank and some bilateral donors post badly needed economic assistance after the military takeover. Since Hamdok was first appointed Prime Minister in 2019, Sudan has carried out economic reforms including the lifting of fuel subsidies and the managed float of its currency that won IMF forgiveness of the country country's $50 billion foreign debts. Now moving away from business, South Africa's ruling African National Congress party on Monday lost control of Johannesburg, the country's biggest city to the opposition, Democratic Alliance Party, to head the mayor's office. Dr. Info Falase becomes the first black woman to be chosen by the city council to lead the Johannesburg mayor Rauti and the first woman since 1946. Falase won 144 votes to ANT candidate Morani in 121. Burkina Faso's government said on Monday it had cut mobile internet access in the country under a legal provision related to national defense and public security causing a widespread communication blackout, confusion and frustration. The internet went out on Saturday in the wake of protests against French military forces and the government over their inability to stop rising violence by Islamist militants. 
Now, following months of negotiations, 13 stolen Ethiopian artifacts have finally returned home after a century and a half, hidden in private collections. Taken in 1868 after the Battle of Magalda between the British and Ethiopian empires, the items are part of the largest act of restitutions in Ethiopia's history, officials said. The returned restitutions will go on display in Ethiopian museums. And in sports, Liverpool star Mohamed Salah joins an 11-man shortlist for the Best FIFA Men's Player Award, which recognizes a footballer's achievements during the period from October 2020 to August of 2021. The recipients of the awards are determined by votes from national team coaches, captains, journalists and fans. The winners will be revealed at a ceremony in Zurich on January 17. And that is it on Africa Now. For more updates, do visit our website at www.tostvnetwork.com. Do follow us and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Abigail Lukwadi. Thanks for watching.